This weekend, an annular solar eclipse will move over North America and some folks will have a chance to see a ring of fire in the sky. Now, spoiler alert, that's not going to be us in East Tennessee. We'll have a partial solar eclipse on Saturday, but let's quickly talk about the difference between an annular solar eclipse and a total solar eclipse like we had back in 2017. During an annular eclipse, the moon is too small to cover the sun's disk. So that's how you get that ring of fire effect with the sun still showing on the outside of the moon. Now this happens because the moon is so far away from Earth and looks a little too small to cover the full sun. Who will see path of annularity? Well, that's going to be out west from the coast of Oregon down to the coast of Texas. And as you get farther and farther away from that path of annularity, you're going to have less and less coverage of the sun. In Tennessee, we are going to have a about 46.8% coverage. We're going to have a partial solar eclipse on Saturday. It will begin at 1143 AM and at 240 PM with the maximum eclipse happening at around 110 PM. And again, we're going to have about 46.8% coverage. So you're going to see that little crescent in the shadows. If you look down at the ground, or if you do look up at the sun, big important point to take away from this segment, you have to be wearing your protective eyewear, your little eclipse glasses. If you want to look up at the sun at all, you're going to see that crescent of the moon passing in front of the sun at 46.8% on Saturday afternoon at about 1 10 PM. Now, of course, we'll keep an eye on the forecast as we get closer to that event. So make sure you check back for updates.